Hello my angels, we're back to review the Everyday Witch Tarot by Deborah Blake. Now this is a huge book. Um, it comes with a book when you open it up, right? So it's a magnetic closure. That's the back. This is the side. They do have a mini deck of this too. And, but I like to get the original whenever I can. Somebody sent me 21 of the mini decks if you guys haven't. Look at how big this book is and it's thick. It's not like, oh my gosh, it's freaking in color and it has, it's a workbook. It's in color. And look, there's like pages where you can write your notes. Oh my God, I love this. Yes, please buy the original. The links will be below. Oh my God, I love this. I love it. I lo lo love it. And none of these are in order because I use this deck apparently and I did not know that, but I'm going to give you the, this is very beautiful. I'm going to give you, <laughs> they're not going to be in order. <laughs> we got the Queen of Cups and the Empress. She looks like she's serving somebody. I've never seen the Queen of, she's pregnant, but she looks like she's serving some, a bunch of people. This one also looks pregnant too. The Queen of Cups looks pregnant. The Empress looks pregnant. She looks like she's getting ready to like hit the tree and the apples are going to fall. Then we have the Fool and Death. And at the end, I'm going to do a two card reading like I always do. These are great imagery, like imagery. Chariot and the Three of Swords. This is one of the reasons I got the deck is I loved this chariot. What does it say on the bed? Can't see. Journal. And the ink spilled. This is what the back of the cards look like. Then you have the Six of Swords and the Three of Cups. This is lovely. Taking the swords out of your back and then you're taking them somewhere to bury them. You're like, I'm done with this. I don't want it anymore. The Eight of Wands and the High Priestess. <laughs> That's like when you can't control your magic and it's all over the place and you're just like a hot mess. She's consulting her crystal ball. The Five of Wands and the King of Wands. I'm going to start running through these just so that it's easier for you guys. If you want to pause it, go ahead. Two of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. Waiting for your ships to come in and juggling, balancing the Hermit and the King of Pentacles. King of Cups and the Magician. I should be using these while I read tarot. The Empress and the Knight of Cups. Sorry, the Emperor. Sorry, the Emperor and the Knight of Cups. Sorry about that. The Seven of Pentacles and the Judgment. The Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. There's a lot of beautiful nuances that you can use for intuitive reading with this deck. The Five of Swords and the Devil. The Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Oh, that's super cute. It's like a date. That is so cute. Then you have like a mini person on the bottom. What is that? Oh, it's another cat. <laughs> Even the cats are dating. My cat likes your cat. Page of Wands and the Strength. There's cats in all of them. Literally. The Star and the Four of Cups.
the Three of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Sorry, I'm trying to do it so that the glare doesn't affect anything. The World and the Ace of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. The Knight of Swords and the Four of Wands. The King of Swords and the Sun. the moon and the six of cups the five of cups and the justice and i have to show two at a time to reduce the glare otherwise if i just show one oh well it's not doing it but usually like the light will just take over and it's just off anyways the ace of cups and the ten of swords and a lot of people just literally want to see the cards to make a decision whether or not they want to buy the deck by now you should know i would totally buy this deck i mean i bought it actually but i love it it's just, just the presentation in itself and that book the nine of wands and the eight of cups i love a book in color so tired of these little black and white books that like I always have to put my readers on for the Ten of Wands and the Knight of Wands. They brought a dragon in. The Queen of Wands and the Ten of Cups. the queen of swords sorry and the ten of cups she doesn't look very angry the page of cups and the page of swords probably why i thought she was the queen of wands because usually the queen of swords is very like harsh this is a very happy deck the eight of swords and the ten two of wands just as i say it right The Tower and the Six of Wands. She looks like she's happy she destroyed the, <laughs> the lovers and the hangman. <laughs> she was like, I did that. That was me. Did I do that? <laughs> oh my gosh. The two, Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. The Four of Swords and the Nine of Swords. She looks like Juliet from Romeo and Juliet. The Seven of Wands and the Seven of Cups. That's interesting. The Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Is that? Two of Swords, sorry. The Five of Pentacles and the Higher Font. The Queen of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. The Page of Pentacles and the Temperance. The 
And last but not least, the Queen of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Those cups are about to fall apart. So now I'm going to do a quick reading, tell you how the cards shuffle and how they feel. They shuffle well. There's a nice wax coating. I know when it's matte, sometimes that wax coating tends to peel off. I don't think it's going to happen with these because it has that glossy finish. Um, it does have the same feel as some of these cards that are not that great but they're, 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 it's not horrible compared to like the matte ones. Like um, when I did the review on Labyrinth and Supernatural, those cards, like they were so bad. This is a little bit better. Okay, can I get two cards? Oh, there you go, Ace of Wands. You have a new passionate beginning or a new artistic uh, creative beginning or a very action oriented beginning. Can you give me another card to clarify? I need to shuffle again. I could tell. Uh, okay. And just so you know, I only shuffle twice. And you see how it's like slowly, like a little bit starting to bend. So you might have to shuffle. Like if you shuffle in one direction all the time, you might have to switch it because it, it, it'll start to bend a little bit. Does that make sense? So you got the Ace of Wands, this passionate beginning, followed by, dun dun da da dun da 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 oh, Queen of Wands, ooh, I'm fiery. You might have a very lustful beginning starting, or you just might have taken everything that you've acquired creatively and finally put it into action. Anything that you've been working on, some type of project, is finally going to take its first steps to the public view. Hmm. I have another channel called Tarot Cheerleader. If you want to take a look at it, the link is below. Thank you so much. Oh, another card just flew out. Eight of Pentacles. You're working hard at this thing. Whatever this endeavor is or whatever this passion, this thing that you're passionate about is, you're working on it and you're getting ready to release it to the world, I believe. Um, rock and roll. Bye.